Hey guys, so I am super hungry. I wanted to get sushi, but I did groceries this morning and I uh, felt hectic and I think my anxiety just creeps up on me even more. So I was like, I'm getting home. It was hot and stuffy and I just want to put things away. And then Ava fell asleep. So I'm like, I'm not going to like take her in out of the car while she's sleeping back and forth to go get sushi too. So we just went straight home. So I bought some stuff here and there to eat at work and stuff so I won't eat out. But um, yeah, I haven't had pot pie in years. This is the Marie Calendar one. I used to always buy the one from Banquet when I was younger. Er, er, like they were like 89 cents or a dollar or something. I would buy so much. I was like addicted to pot pies. Isn't that kind of like, I don't want to stop. I got sick of it. And every time I go to the grocery store, I'm like, I want to eat it again. I'm like, nah, but I couldn't think of of stuff to buy so I'm like I don't know let's just try it still want sushi but next time so Marie Calendars this is Parmesan chicken and I also got the chicken one also but Parmesan I was like ooh cheese so and I don't know if you guys can see this one there you go my mom made uh, fried bananas and potatoes. It's just dip in this batter she makes and she fried it. It's a Cambodian traditional thing. Um, it, it tastes super good right away because it's crispy, but now it's all soggy. So this is the potato one. Not Russell potatoes, like I think Yukon or yams. And this is the banana one. You can kind of tell by the shape of it. It's like half of a banana slice, thinly sliced. Not too thin though, but. Mm. Yeah, it tastes better when it's crispy. Um, got green tea left over in the fridge and it's cold. That's why I got it. I want to take Ava to this park by my house, but I've never been there by myself, so I feel nervous, I guess, or paranoid. Hopefully by the time she wakes up, it's not too late, I can go check it out with her. Nice and cool. So this is the pop pie, I'm gonna dig it in. I think I heat it up for like six minutes. If it's cold, I'll be so mad because I'm kind of hungry. Hmm. Perfect. I'm so scared I missed like some cold spots, but so far so good. Tastes pretty decent. Mm. I feel it. It's not hot in the middle area so just um had on again in the microwave for like another two and a half minutes now it's like super hot the like but i'm hungry so let's try it again this would definitely be perfect on a cold day but it started started to get hot today been trying to go to the zoo did not go yesterday because it was raining all day long Hot. I'm so messy. Hot. So yeah, we just had a little lunch at Steak and Shake, which I wasn't a fan of. We were initially gonna go to Red Robin's yesterday, but her dad gave me anxiety because he's a dude, he's a guy, he's special and there were a lot of frustrations going on yesterday. So I was putting Ava back in the car, pulling her out of the car seat. I gave my phone to her to look at um, Moana because she was getting a little cranky at Target because we were sitting at Starbucks waiting for her dad. And I was so irritated and I just took Ava, put her in the car seat. And then I guess I forgot that I left the phone in the um, Target's cart, you know, where Ava was sitting in the front. But I guess it probably like got down to the side as I was taking Ava out. The hell? 
with the washer. So that was, oh, I was like, and we, and we got to Red Robin. I'm like, shoot, where's my phone? Her dad went to go look in my car, and I'm like, getting annoyed because it felt like forever. And I'm like, let's go back, let's go back because I really just got it. Oh, Ava, Ava. Oh, so, where was I? Ava woke up, cried because she freaked out and ooh, had to put her back and kind of do a little lullaby and pat her booty and now she's back to bed. She got her um, pacifier so it calmed her down. She's still sleepy. I think she woke up early. So anyway, we left Red Robin and I was like mad at Steve at the same time and um, I was just not in the mood because I want to find my phone and I'm freaked out because most people won't return it. They'll just take it because people are just, you know. So, I was still looking around all the cars where I was parked, not there. Her dad went inside Target to go look for it. Thank God it was at the Lost and Found at Target. <sighs> and I said, Mary's out there, thank you so much. So I was like having a little anxiety kind of grind because I was pissed at him. So we ended up going to Steak and Shake, I think. I'm not a fan of that place, but yeah, that was my day yesterday. So we didn't go to the zoo, but it got hot later in the day, like way later in the day. And today feels like it. It's just muggy. I like it when it's hot but breezy, like back in town. Like here's this, ooh. Pretty good. Feels like it's salty. But the chicken's very chunky, very meaty. And you can definitely see all the vegetables. Like some brands are like it's so small and mushy that you can't tell if it's really a vegetable or not, but this you really see and taste the texture of it. I really still want to see Fifty Shades Darker. It's on iTunes now, but um, it's only available to buy, but not to rent yet. I'm like, Ugh. I'm like, I'm not like obsessed. That I want to buy the movie, but I really want to see it. And I'm like, I want to wait. Ugh, green tea's so good. Like water. So apparently there's. Keep thinking here, Ava. So after the whole unicorn crap is gone, there's a dragon one. So I think it's um, what was it? Green tea with some berry. Ava. Keep thinking here, Ava. Um, with berry flavor and mocha or something. I can't remember, but yeah. I give up. I'm not crazy. I got a baby. So I'm wearing my Bermuda shorts and it's my size. It fits. But I'm one of those girls who got issues like no booty, no hips. So every pants or shorts I wear, it just slides back down when I'm walking a lot or too much movement's going on. And I literally have to like lift it up every few seconds. I hate wearing belts. Even sometimes wearing belts, it still slides down with the belt. I hate it. But it's really comfortable. It's right above my knees. It shows your curves if you have curves. I don't, but it helps. So, that's why I'm wearing the same tank top. Oh, hot. This is hot. I miss sushi. I kind of miss having someone to do things for you and pick things up for you instead of doing it yourself. Yeah. But I've been doing this for a long time by myself. But now that you have a child, it's just 20 times harder. 
because your focus is always on your child. They come first no matter what, so you sacrifice constantly. And don't be like, you asked for it. I guess I did then. But she makes my day. Ooh, get some of that crust there. I should, have got, I should have showed you guys a closer view. Sorry, I think I got too hungry for God, but it's like almost empty, but it's so pretty. It's very full. It's not like it's lacking the stuffing, what do you call it? Pretty nice. Ooh. Too hot. Oh my god, I'm so thirsty. Hope it wakes up so I can take her to the park. So, tomorrow, this week, I am working downstairs. Thank God it's not hard. I have worked with these doctors before, and one of my doctors from upstairs, I'm working for him too. He's going to be down as well. I'm glad it doesn't look too stressful, so... Just feels weird. And work is getting to with all these changes, and I don't know. I'm, just, I'm tired of overworking. I'm tired of feeling like the only one that's doing shit. And, and we got people who complain about blah, blah, blah. Can't do this, can't do that. No time, but then you're not even making the time you have useful. Instead of like complaining you can't do it, you're on your phone playing games or whatever that is my huge pet peeve i'm serious about my work i work my ass off and i'm not getting paid enough to do this shit for how many years now but i love what i do i love my patients and i love people that i work with most people and seeing people not do shit is a waste of my workspace i don't know how how, how i can put into words it's so annoying if you don't want to work go find a place where you can sit your ass and play video games go somewhere else where you can be on the phone all day with who god knows who not work related you know what i mean don't there's a lot of people out there who needs job who can't find a job because your lazy ass took the place <sighs> it's ew giant ant Where what are they? They're so big. But it stresses me out and it gives me a lot of anxiety and I don't know, people are just really annoying to me lately. Like I know I'm a weirdo but sometimes like really, really. I can only take so much with strange people. So when I <laughs> change of subject so when i updated no not updated i reset reset had my phone reset because when that one time when i couldn't record or whatever um this time around it had iphone just died on me so where was i so when my i got my phone reset this time around it like got all the contacts from my facebook and contacts from my, my old iphone the first time when I got the phone from the store, it had no contacts for some reason. Like, it didn't um, transfer. So, I was like, okay, cool. So, lately I've been like, I'm just tired of people appearing. I'm tired. I don't believe in friends. Nothing. I'm, I'm tired of fake people. I'm tired of people you think you know for so long. And it turns out to be this way that I'm fucking tired. No one fucking texts me. Nobody... Just say, hey, what's up? Let's hang out. Whether it's here or there. And I'm like, why are you my friend? Why are we friends? Why are we still friends? I gave up that shit a long time ago. And all this stuff that happened last year. And so anyway. And people that come and go in my life. What does that say? I am not running to any guy i'm not running to friends like i used to anymore so i'm like why do i have 
all these people, my contacts, delete, delete, like, I don't care. All I have right now is my mom, my dad, not even her dad, Ava's dad, because his number is already, I can, I remember it already, but I don't need it in my contacts. I just don't. And a few of my coworkers. And that's it. That is it. Like, I was, I was the one texting all the freaking time and I hear nothing for months and months and months. So I know you got a life, I know life got in the way, but no, no. If you have time to put postings on Facebook, if you have time to do Instagram, if you have time to do live videos, then you have time to fucking text me and say hi. So I don't, and it's funny because her dad's like, you're holding a phone, yeah, 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 since we met. No, no. You know why? Because I put everybody first before me my whole life. Family, friends, never myself. So, if you want to talk, text me. If you really want to talk, you can call me, but I'm no longer texting people. And it's something like I really need to know, like right now and then, like, but I'm done trying to like get to know people, trying to ask people to hang out. Trying to be the nice one, the bigger person. I mean, it's tiring. The sad thing is sometimes I'll used to scroll down my phone and be like, maybe she'll text me, maybe he'll text me. Nope. And if you're highly offended about anything in my video, what I've said to you in the past, now, present, then obviously you have done something wrong. That, that's just how it is. Yeah, the last big issue, I was over it. I don't know if things are okay anymore, but I'm still hurt by it. Like, it still haunts me. Until now, and... Yeah, every time something negative happens, it triggers this memory, this memory. This memory, people who have never gone through any traumatizing stuff don't get it. Do not get it. Yep. I thought, change of subject, I thought I hit my eyebrows, but I'm kind of getting used to it. It is thinner than usual, but I think she did a pretty good job now that I'm like staring. Yeah, this side's always perfect. It has more hair and the arch is always nicer. This side, they always try to like work it and make it similar, so. Yeah. Only $8 and I gave her. Ten, so. That is cheap for um threading. Yeah. Hope Ava wakes up. That fresh air sounds nice. Mm -mm -mm. My parents went to Walmart or something. So like speaking of what I just said earlier about the whole people, contents, whatever. You might get in my nerves. You might hurt me. You might have let me down. No matter who you are. Just have in mind, I do not hate you. It's just how I'm feeling lately because of everything else that has happened to me. So it's just not you, but you have contributed to a lot of things. If that makes sense, I don't know. But yeah, I feel alone. I do. I can't just be like, hey, I'm feeling really depressed. Can we talk? No, because people make you feel like shit. People make you feel like... I don't want to talk to you because you're depressed. Once I get that impression, hell no, I'm not going to come to you and, and tell you how I really feel when I'm down because you're going to judge me. Get over it, right? You have PTSD? That's for army people. 
those words that I've heard sticks to me until now. That fucking hurts. But I'm not going to buy explaining to you. It, it's a waste of my breath. Because people who have never been to it don't understand. And I don't wish that upon anybody. I hate saying this, not even my worst enemy, which I don't have any enemies. But I'm just, I'm just tired, people. If you text me, I'll talk to you, but I'm, I'm no longer that girl who constantly texts people for friendship, for accept acceptance. If that makes sense? Yeah. Yes, I feel sad. Yes, I feel lonely. I feel frustrated. I feel hurt. But what can I do? It's the same thing with wanting a love, loving relationship. You can't force love. So, it's just to be my daughter. I could be sad all day long, but my daughter would be happy all day long. And that's the most important thing in my life right now. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just videos all over the place, but I just had to get certain stuff on my head and I can say what the F I want, my video, my mukbang. And life is, life is always going to be frustrating for me. I don't think it's ever going to be like super duper happy. I guess I was like super blessed in my job account. I keep repeating it over and over again through the years and it was just so wonderful. <clears throat> yeah, there was drama here and there, but I wasn't so stressed out that I couldn't function, that I had anxiety on nothing. Never had anxiety before, never had depression. <sighs> I was alone, I was like broke, but I was so happy there. <sighs> Can't believe it's like Sunday. No errands here and there. It feels like you have been out all day long and then not enough time to rest, not enough time to chill. You know, it's crazy. Can't get myself to go to the gym. And lately I've been able to like cry because I couldn't do that for the longest time. And I'm sure it's because of the medications. Yes, I've been off for months and months. I'm just too lazy to take it, that's why. People hurt me so bad too many times. Family hurts the most and some days I'm like honest to God. Like I know I shouldn't be saying this and I know I would never do this but I really wish I was dead sometimes. But I will never do that. God has a reason for me to round, to be a mom, to be someone's friend, to be someone to look up to, to be someone's grandmother. To be someone's wife, maybe, to teach you a lesson. I don't know, but yep, I'm stuck here. <laughs> Just me being honest. It is what it is. Yeah, we're surrounded by so many negative things in life. 
on the news. It's, that's why people are the way they are. It's sad. I'm sad.